Hi everyone, my name is Manton and I want to show you one of the new features in micro.blog 2.0 and that is the revamped bookmarks feature. These used to be called favorites and they were always private just for you to keep track of things but by renaming them bookmarks I think it better conveys what they are about. They're not public likes and also it has allowed us to really expand the feature and add some, some more stuff. So let me just show you really quick. Uh, of course, you know, this is a development version of micro.blog. Uh, I'm just showing off, so it just has my posts. But basically, you can click bookmark anywhere, um, you know, on a post, and it'll file that post away. And if I click over on bookmarks, there's a couple new things. One is I can bookmark any URL. It doesn't have to be a post that's in micro.blog. And there's also a little bookmarklet that I can use in my browser to make that easy. When you bookmark something that's not a microblog post, it basically creates this special entry with the, um, the domain name of the site that you're bookmarked. And now if you subscribe to micro.blog premium, it does a couple extra things. One, any link in the post that you bookmarked, it downloads and archives it. And also all the, the style for the page, the, any images, saves all of that. And then it adds this special link where you can read, have a special reading interface for that post. So I'm going to click on this. You can see the special interface. It's just trimmed down to the basics and I can read the post and I can also make highlights in it. So I can select some text. I get this highlight button, click highlight and it's highlighted. it. And what's great about that is I can read something. I can kind of bookmark something, read it later, and then I can make some highlights if I want to. And then it makes it even easier to blog about that and quote it. So I can click on, I've made three highlights in this post. I can see them quickly. And then let's say I want to blog and quote this. I can just hit new post and it fills the quote in as a block quote, fills in the title and the link. And I can just say, you know, this is a great article, something like that. Click post. I can preview it, see what it's going to look like. I can add a title if I want to. And it just uh, makes it a little easier to go from the reading and figuring out what you're going to read and write about to actually quickly posting to your blog. Uh, so a couple other things in this interface. Another thing is that it will show you uh, all the highlights. So I can click through across all the articles that I've read. And I can click through and uh, see the highlights that I've made. So uh, it's a kind of it's a really big feature for micro.blog. Really expands what you can do, but it's still true to that mission of making it easier to blog. I know that people use micro.blog. A lot of people read a bunch of stuff and want to share it. And this just makes it nicely integrated into the micro.blog. There's also a special feed for these bookmarks and the archived pages. So you can subscribe to this basically in another feed reader like NetNewsWire or Feedbin or something else. And then you can even read that text offline. So thanks so much. I'm really excited about this feature. I can't wait to share more about it.